Welcome back to the Chitlin Circuit. Nope is the third feature film from writer-director Jordan Peele. His two previous installments, Get Out and Us, could be classified as horror films. But this third installment is more of a suspense thriller than a true horror. Many are comparing it to Steven Spielberg's Jaws or M. Night Shyamalan's Signs. Our main characters are Otis Jr., aka OJ, played by Daniel Kaluuya, Emerald, played by Kiki Palmer, and Ricky Parks, played by Steven Yoon. Keith David plays OJ and Emerald's dad, Otis Hayward Sr. We start with an opening scene featuring a monkey covered in blood. We eventually find out the monkey is Gordy, the star of a fictional 90s sitcom called Gordy's Home. Ricky, Jupiter Parks, is a child actor on the show and the only survivor of Gordy's violent rampage on the set of Gordy's birthday episode. Ricky has used his fame from the show and parlayed it into a lucrative western theme park called Jupiter's Claim. Jupiter's Claim wants to buy the horse farm from the Haywoods. The Haywoods have been in Hollywood for generations. They descended from the jockey who trained the horse in motion, the first moving picture ever captured by a camera. Today, the family business is a horse ranch that specializes in horses used in films. The company's biggest claim to fame is one of their horses being booked for The Scorpion King, The Rock's first starring role in a film. When we first meet OJ and Otis Sr., Emerald is nowhere to be found. Where are your sister? Suddenly, there is a mysterious event. Electrical devices go out and a storm of foreign objects rains down on the farm. One of these items is a coin that goes through Otis Sr.'s skull and kills him. OJ and M are left to run the business without their dad, who was the business. Not only did he train all the horses on the farm, but he was also the face of the company. M has none of Otis Sr.'s discipline and OJ has none of his charisma on set. So they both struggle to keep the business afloat but lean on each other's strengths. There is an incident with a horse on set and they end up losing a movie job. Animals going out of control is an intentional theme of this movie. There is another mysterious electrical outage and this time OJ spots a UFO in the sky. Without any proof, OJ and M head to the local tech store and get help from Angel to install state-of-the-art camera equipment to try and catch the UFO next time. OJ and M plan to get video evidence of the alien craft and use it to turn around their financial misfortunes, much like Ricky has done with Jupiter's claim. The first night with the new equipment doesn't go as planned. Even though there was another UFO sighting, none of the cameras were able to capture it. After this encounter, Angel has fully committed himself to the team and M has a plan. Antler's host, played by Michael Wincott, is a famous cinematographer known for getting impossible shots. M gets his number from the call sheet from the movie they were fired from, but he isn't interested in helping them until there is another incident with the UFO. It sucks up a group of patrons at Jupiter's claim, including Ricky Parks himself. At some point, after the UFO regurgitates a fake horse, OJ begins to suspect that the UFO is not an alien craft, but an alien life form, akin to a horse, which makes OJ well suited to deal with the creature. Its movement and attack patterns are territorial, and OJ deduces that the way to avoid being eaten by the creature is to not look it in the eye. This is what Gordy's attack and the horse incident on set were all foreshadowing. OJ, M, Angel, and Antlers all attempt to capture this extraterrestrial animal that has claimed the area in and around the Haywood Hollywood horse farm. Antler shows up with a manual film camera that will not be affected by the electrical outages caused by the alien. M and OJ set up a bunch of inflatable flailing tube men around on batteries to track the movements of the creature. As they are preparing to capture it, a TMZ reporter shows up to try and get the shot. Unaware of the rules, he drives his electrical bike right into the creature's electrical disturbance and flies off. OJ tries to save him, but when he refuses not to look away because he cares more about getting the shot than his own life, OJ leaves him to his fate. Antlers is also consumed by the creature, but Angel survives by looking away. The creature chases OJ and M, and they eventually lure it to Jupiter's claim. There, she releases a balloon cowboy into the air, which the alien ingests, presumably because its eyes are looking right at it. The balloon kills the alien, and just as it's falling to its death, Emerald gets the money shot, using a manual well camera at the amusement park. Another moment that was foreshadowed earlier in the film when she accidentally photobombed some kids. The creature is killed by the balloon that popped inside of it. M got the money shot and when the dust settled, OJ survived the encounter. And that's how the movie ends. So what did we just watch? Nope is really about two things. 
It's a suspense thriller about a struggling family trying to get photographic evidence of an alien life form that has claimed their territory. It disguises itself in clouds that don't move and will eat anything that looks it in the eye. But it is also a commentary on the desire to be famous and how each of our characters internalize that desire. Where does it rank compared to Jordan Peele's other films? Get Out is still his best work to date and will be almost impossible to top. Us was a strong follow-up that gave us a unique horror story and a career-defining performance from Lupita Nyong'o. Though Nope is Peele's biggest in terms of scope and ambition, overall, it is probably the weakest out of the three. But we can't deny the epicness of this film. The cinematography and use of IMAX film cameras make this his biggest feeling movie, even if it's not his best. What did you think of Nope? Would you watch it again? Is it your least favorite of the three? Let us know what you thought in the comments and thanks for watching The Chitlin Circuit.